Hello YouTube subscribers, viewers, and PS4 and PS4 Pro uh, friends list and players. This is Rain Phoenix back again. Um, I'm going to talk to you about, uh, this is a game update um, that I got. I got this list from GameStop. You could, anybody could probably go to GameStop and get these lists. But, um. The games I'm looking forward to. First, let's talk about, talk about the game that I'm mostly looking forward to. Um, it's a retro game. It's called Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which I already have it pre-ordered, which is <clears throat> really good. Um, they got a lot of good games coming out this year, but Castlevania is just one of the main ones I've been looking forward to ever since I ever since like three weeks ago. I found out it's been it's talked about being launched and it's actually being launched on the 20 I want to say 26 of this month <clears throat> um another one I'm a little bit on the fence about it's not really much so much a retro game but it's basically a sequel um it's Soul Calibur um I played the stress test for it you can check out that video. It's probably beneath this video because it's one of the most recent ones I did aside before I did this one. Um, one of the other games that I'm looking forward to this month is um, not Red Dead Redemption. They have Art Park, whatever that is. Call of Cthulhu. I looked at I looked at that on in the PlayStation Store. That didn't look like much. The the graphics look really no like they don't really look 4k ish like for for a console to be 4k like these some of these games didn't really look 4k um i also looked into the soul caliber collector's edition that thing is freaking 150 get like wow if i knew it was coming out like gonna be that much i would i don't even know what comes with it but i should have it should have came. I should have like probably pre-ordered it, but I didn't. I don't really know what it's coming with, and I was never really a big fan of Soul Calibur. Um, I'll probably end up getting it like later on next this year or next year or something like that. It's not really something I look forward to. Um, another game that I am looking for. I mean, that's coming out this year. Um, Monster Boy. Sinran, Kagura Burst, whatever that is. <clears throat> um, what else they got here? Project Justin. No, I'm kidding. Um, which one of these is? Okay, Devil May Cry 5. Let's talk about that. <laughs> I'm on the fence more off to get Devil May Cry 5 because of what Ninja what what Crapcom let Ninja Theory do to it. Um I'm more on the fence of not getting it than more on the fence than on getting it. I've heard good things about the music, I've heard good things about the graphics, but when I seen it yeah. Man, that's not Dante. Like, I hope they don't use Nero or freaking... If they do use him, let them be like set like they did with Devil May Cry 3 HD Collection. They put Dante in it, but then they gave you Virgil as an optional play. Dante was the main character. If they do put Nero in it, put him as an optional play. Don't force me to use him just to figure out the story, you know? <clears throat> um... Devil, other than that, my the last I think the last good Devil May Cry game that came out was three. Um it just Devil May Cry just they just it just kinda lost it for me. Um Battlefield Five. I've never really let me give you a release date for Devil May Cry Five. Um uh, Steel Book, which I do might get, I don't know. Um if it has one. Um, but Devil May Cry 5 is coming out 3 8 19, so which is next year, March 12th. Um, God Eater PS3 Standard Edition. 
is coming out 12 31 19 so like next year wolfenstein dying light 2 <clears throat> um they're not sure when it's coming out titanfall 2 ultimate was canceled which is not really something I'll, i never even played titanfall outside of the demo or the beta when it was released so it was not nothing <clears throat> that i was looking forward to i heard like i heard like different stuff about it it wasn't good it wasn't bad it was mediocre um fallout 76 well before i get to that they got um american ninja warrior which comes out on uh, 11 13 18 so this year spyro re re ignited they spelled that wrong reignited is r-e-i-g-n they look well you can't really see it but they this is spelled wrong um spiral reignited um fallout 76 they want two hundred dollars two hundred and nine dollars for this pip boy kit bundle it's two hundred and nine dollars and ninety nine two hundred and ten dollars basically i said i will never pay over one fifty for <clears throat> a collector's edition so this better come with a whole lot of crap i'm not into a fallout game so i'm i don't really have much to worry about but if you're a hardcore collector of all of the games that are that you like and like i'm somewhat of a hardcore collector i want to get the steelbook editions and stuff and statues and stuff but at 210 dollars i just I, I don't know. I, I It better come with like a sword or a gun or something, you know, a jacket. It just better come with something worth it. Um, Spyro, Fallout, Battlefield 5. If you follow me and played some games with me online, you know I used to play Battlefield 4 like really heavily. I was real heavy in the Battlefield 4 at once. But as of two weeks ago, it's just like, I don't know. It's just Battlefield not doing anything for me anymore, you know. So I tried Battlefield 1 and I just feel like I'm playing Battlefield 4 with just with 4K and HDR graphics. If Battlefield 1 is in fact even 4K, it may be 16, 14 or 16P or some crap like that, but you know, whatever the case, it's still a shooter. I feel like I'm playing, I cut off Battlefield 4 for Battlefield 4 HD. Now, people, and like the, like, one thing that made me, um, that wore me out on a Battlefield series franchise is the stupid upgrades you get. Like, they give you, like, I played Battlefield 1 for like a solid month. <clears throat> I played the story mode. I played um the multiplayer every time i got an upgrade it was a skin <sighs> i can't why are you giving me skins skins don't imp increase my bullet power they don't increase my range they don't increase stability they don't why do i why do i care about how my gun look why do i care about how my in uniform look unless i'm on the other team why do I care about what? Why do I care about like stuff like this? Okay, it's a fun option to have to play dress up, but like really, if you're gonna give me an upgrade, give me something like Battlefield Four when they get they gave you um two hundred percent XP or they gave you they gave you skins, but they also gave you like um what's the uh the attachments like they gave you scopes and they gave you different stuff they may do that in battlefield five uh one but there's as much as i played it i never seen anything like that so like they need to get rid of the skins man the skins just need to come free don't give me an upgrade say you earned a chest you earned a battle pack you open it up it'd be some little dumbass skin like don't do that don't don't give me no don't give skins ea don't give us skins we don't want skins like skins just make you look good while you're losing or ugly depending on the one you got so skins are stupid i was never again i was never on getting skins i never even changed my guns because 
they didn't hide your camouflage. I mean, you get camouflage and you still get shot in the bushes. So, what's the use of having a skin? Heck if I know. Um, going down to Dark's Battlefield 5 uh, Farming Simulator. Battlefield 5, if you're wondering, is um, $79, of course, but $59 for the standard version. It will be out 11 2018. Um, Darksiders 3, I never was really into either the collector's edition. Um, first, they got a standard edition, which is standard $60, $59.99. Then they got Darksiders 3 Apocalypse. No. Darksiders 3 Collector's Edition, 149 Okay, not bad. Then we got Darksiders 3 Apocalypse Edition, $400. If you think I'm lying, look at this. Darksiders 3 Apocalypse, $399.90. That's a freaking console. Correct me if I'm wrong. Darksiders don't have that many fans. They don't. It don't have a big fan base. And if it's due, it's obscure people that's way out in parts unknown where nobody knows nothing about some little nothing area. Like, who's gonna pay for a for a console? I, I don't know. I, I I this is this is ridiculous. Four hundred dollars for the collector's edition. You you couldn't pay me the if so, I'm not gonna lie. This is my word. If somebody bought me that and gave it to me, I swear to y'all would trade it in for credit. Cause I don't even play Dark Siders like that. I would not pay four hundred. I don't care if I was die hard. Man, I just I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Um just cause four collector's edition eighty nine Gil. Um standard edition fifty nine comes out twelve four eighteen. That I've been on the fence about too. Um, to me, the last good Just Cause game was two, or no three. I'm sorry, no. Well, yeah, it was two for the PS um, PS three. I like um, Just Cause two. No, you can't platinum it because I never drove all 104 cars, but I had fun playing it. Just Cause three. I don't know if you do anything if you try to do the missions you I didn't have fun in it is this personal preference but when I was just playing around just blowing up stuff yeah I was having fun but when I tried to do the missions that's when it's like frustrating and no fun and it's just not it's just not enjoyable at all. I didn't have fun playing it the action was good but I just couldn't enjoy myself playing it forgive my quality by the way I am recording from my tablet um Persona Dancing Endless. I uh, don't know too much about that. Persona 5, Persona 3. Um, Override Mech Brawl City. I don't know nothing about that. Bio Mutant. That comes out 1231. I've been hearing off and ons about that. I never really seen any videos on it. So maybe I'll look at a video after this, after I upload this. Um. And then we have Team Sonic Racing, um, twelve thirty one ended. And most of these games come out at the end of the year. Only Musha Warlords, um, that comes out next year, uh, January fifteenth, twenty nineteen. Then you got Resident Evil Two, <laughs> Resident Evil Two, Resident Evil Two Collect uh, Deluxe, sixty nine. Resident Evil Two Standard. Uh, fifty nine. Then you got Resident Evil Two Collector's Edition, two hundred dollars, one ninety nine ninety nine. Again, I will not pay two hundred dollars for that. I don't. I'd rather buy the game and then buy the steel book and then buy the little statue of Leon. I am not spending two hundred dollars for that. I'm sorry. Um. You got Walking the Walking Dead. Um. Over. I'm sorry. Overkill's Walking Dead. Um, it comes out two February 6, 2019. Um, that's about it. That's all they got coming out. They got some other stuff coming out this year. Like, um, let me see if they have a release date for Days Gone. I looked on over this list and they, Days Gone, they have a standard edition and they have a collector's edition, but no price is set. And then there's no release date. 
So I don't really know. There's not really a release date. They have RPG Maker um, MV Standard Edition, which is like, where is the collector's edition of that? Um, they don't know how much it's going to cost or how, when the release date is, but it's got like um, 3 one nineteen, but it's still in a they're not sure it could get pushed back or delayed or whatever it could come out earlier i don't know but um wolfenstein young blood comes out in uh 12 31 19 um after that 2k play i don't care about that i don't care about really sports games infamous second son ph i don't know what that is um that comes out and hey, they're not sure when that's released either. Then they got Gungrave, that's for VR, but that they're not sure when that comes out either. Okay. Dying Light 2, they're not sure when that comes out. Um, God Eater, they don't know when that comes out. Doom Eternal, got another one coming out. 12-31-19. And the last one I'm gonna gonna read off to you guys is the Division 2. Um that comes out three. Well, the standard, the steel book edition will come out March 12th, 2019. Then the standard edition will come out 315. So basically three days apart, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah. So basically three days apart um, in the same year. Um, nothing like that. that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Um, Thank you guys for checking out my um, game releases. Um, if there's a game that I missed, uh, meant, uh, type it in the comments below and I'll try to look for it on the list and put up a part two maybe. Um, I also got an upgraded room tour. I don't really want to call it a room tour. I mean, a um, game tour i want to I, I really i'm really leaning toward multimedia because i don't just play games here i don't just watch movies i play games and watch movies and do listen to music i watch tv like i do everything here even though i don't watch tv i got like hulu i got like voodoo i got uh netflix i got all these other things that i can do so i don't really watch tv i've mostly been on youtube the past couple of weeks um doing upgrades and stuff like that ideas i could get for my multimedia room but yeah when you guys uh get a chance leave me a friend leave me a comment and please help me get to 500 subscribers i would appreciate it thank you guys and i will see you guys in the next video